It's almost Valentine's Day. Yep, it's the month of February. And today, I have a brand new book about Valentine's Day. Welcome to the talking book. No honey bun. Books don't talk, but I'm going to use my voice and bring this book to life. This book was written by Suzanne Lang and illustrated by Max Lang. And look at that. There is Grumpy Monkey. Does he look like he's grossed out? This is called Grumpy Monkey, Valentine Gross Out. Now, I want to show you something I saw that was super cute. Look at this little guy. He just took a little munch out of a leaf. Yum, 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 yum. So cute. I love being outdoors in nature. And I like Grumpy Monkey because his stories are set in the jungle. And there's lots of animals and plants and flowers in the jungle. And I like that. How about you? Oh, look at all the little cute frogs. Those are bullfrogs. Do you see how they're puffing up their, their uh, throat? That's what bullfrogs do. Jim Pansy was enjoying a nap when a voice awakened him. Hey, Jim, you like my flower? Tweeted Oxpecker. My boyfriend gave it to me because we're in love. Love, said Jim. Gross. Hmm? Oh, don't be jealous. Also, my boyfriend is making me a romantic dinner for Valentine's Day, tweeted Oxpecker. Valentine's Day? What's that? asked Jim. <gasps> it's a day for love, replied Oxpecker, full of hearts and sweets and flowers and romance. Oh, it's the loveliest, deviest, most wonderfulest holiday. Yuck, said Jim. It sounds more like the grossest holiday. Jim went to find his neighbor, Norman. I bet Norman thinks Valentine's Day is as gross as I do, thought Jim. But when he got to Norman's branch, his neighbor was busy making, I'm making some love cards, said Norman. Catch you later. Hmm? Jim couldn't believe it. Even Norman liked Valentine's Day. Everywhere Jim went, there were couples being gross, exchanging cards, couples gazing into each other's eyes, couples giggling for no reason, couples slow dancing, I kind of like this page because we already know that these are called hyenas and they're known for their weird sounding laugh. So they're giggling. And then what are turtles known for? I bet you know, they're slow. So they're the ones that are slow dancing. So cute. Couples cuddling. And they're even sharing a worm. Look at that. Snuggling couples. And the grossest of all, kissing. <laughs> oh, how cute. Even the frogs and snails are smooching. <laughs> Finally, Jim couldn't take it anymore. Ew, Valentine's Day is the grossest holiday. Well, it's true. All the kissing is pretty gross, said Norman, but Valentine's Day isn't just about the couples. There are lots of kinds of love, said Norman, like the love you have for your parents. And the love parents feel for their children, said Jim's mom. And the love you feel for your friends, said Norman. Valentine's Day is about showing the people you love that you love them, said Jim's dad. Hmm. Jim's arms were full, 
full of things that made him feel loved. It was a nice feeling that he wanted to share. And so he made valentines for all of his friends and family. Huh, maybe Valentine's Day isn't so gross after all, he thought. See everybody holding their valentines? I like that they used leaves to make their valentines because they didn't have paper in the jungle. But we know that the trees are where we get our paper, huh? Oh. Well, I hope you enjoyed this cute story, Grumpy Monkey Valentine Grows Out. Join me again for another talking book.